Now, today I'm going to be showing you a brief tutorial on how to make a working eye scan. You know, just like you see in all those action movies where you have to get into a secret area by looking into an eye scanner. So, this is how it works. Start next to the eye scanner, it should tell you, welcome back, your username, you walk through, and then those glass doors go behind you. When to get out, simply you press this button, it tells you message goodbye. And you go for the more. Right, so first of all, we need to go into our settings, make sure the following are on. So we need to have sure coordinates on. We also need to activate sheets on. And finally, we also need command blocks enabled. Now, I'm going to put the following commands into our command block screen give username, uh, command block output false. That gets rid of all the garbage on the top left hand side of the screen when you're running these commands. Uh, second command, we're going to give ourselves a command block, so give username command underscore block. Right, so this is going to be the first command we're going to be entering. So it's going to be a test for command at player, and we're going to be x, y, and say coordinates. Now these are going to be the coordinates uh, between the x and y of the entrance of the door, so there, and to the other side. So when we go through the door, it fills up with glass panes. So this is how it gets uh, this to work. So that command block goes into that comparator, into these two repeaters and then into this uh, impulse block here. And it's going to be a fill command there on the impulse box or fill the position to the door and glass uh, underscore plane. I'll show you that again when it goes through automatically fills back that area up with gas, uh, glass paints. Now the second a lot of commands is what makes this work in the first place. So we, it's going to be a test for command. Now that uh, X and Y as a coordinate and an R for a radius equals 1. It's going to go into that command block there. So test for pull back chain 82. In the chain command always active and conditional. So we detect for me and then set off a sequence of commands. So title, a title command, you can use the name title welcome back. And then into this last command block, which is going to fill uh, that same area of the door with air. So what will happen is you go through the door, it will scan you, detects that it's you, gives you a message, walks through, and then that closes back up. That's what those two sets of commands do essentially. And it's a similar sort of command on the left there to open the door. Now this third uh, command is so what is going to happen if you're not the player in question. So it's testing yet again for the position under the door. But then it said it's going to set off these title commands. Five, four, three, two, one title goodbye and then finally it's going to visit effect command for position under the ice scanner and then instant underscore damage uh, and then set to that and it you can manually change those but essentially if you stay at that location for those five seconds you're gonna die right so we're gonna change this now to home of j83 no, I pull my GP2, so to set up the effect then. Hopefully, we turn this into survival of killing me if I stand under that for too long. So I'm gonna walk up to the ice scanner. Oh, it's telling me warning, move away or die. Five, four, three, two, one. If I move away, it won't kill me. It still displays the message, but let's, uh, let's stay there and I will see what happens. Four, three, two, one. Oh, ouch. Well, it's almost killed me. Let's just stay there. See what happens when you die. There we are. I've been killed by magic. Right, and well, that's it for another video. Hit subscribe and like. And I'll see you for now.